Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim, and we're in Kerbal Space Program 24.1. The patch literally came out yesterday, I think. This is the actually a 64-bit version, and we are doing a mod light. So we'll be looking at a very tasty mod indeed. It's called Burn Together. Now, you see we've got three ships here, all with different, like, masses, different engines. So they'll have different thrust rate ratios. Now, trying to get them to a different planet, say to Eve or Jewel, would be a nightmare. In vanilla, you'd have to launch them all individually at different times, and then you'd have to go to the location, and then when you're there, you'd have to slow them down individually and make sure they're not two together, otherwise, you know, you'll miss one of them. What we can do with Burn Together is we can basically launch them all at the same time as a fleet, which is really quite awesome. Now, if you notice, they're pointing down at Kerbin, so let's zoom in on our big one over here. And if I right-click this, oh, I need to have the UI up, that would help. Uh, and then go, all follow me. Acquiring follower, staged probe, and Kerbal 2. Oh, Kerbal X, or was that? I can't remember. Anyway, um, if we then turn towards the program marker, let's turn on the, SA, uh, the RCS, you can notice... Look who's turning as well. The entire fleet is turning. Right, so let's point at that and then time accelerate. There we go. Now, what we can do is pretty damn amazing. I'm actually going to have to start the engines manually because staging does not carry it together over burn together. So if I stage now, it wouldn't stage my followers. So I believe I have to go and turn the engines on on anyone who hasn't... Right, you've got your engine already turned on. Now you do. Now you do, right. And if we look at this, we are green, so we are the leader. And if we go down here, blue, which means follower and blue, which means follow. Red means not attached. So, let's power up the engine. Now, what would happen normally is we'd go shooting ahead. Because, uh, well, apart from the fact that, you know, they wouldn't have their engines turned on, we have a much higher thrust to weight ratio. But look, I'm, I'm trying to push the throttle higher, but I can't. This is the cap. I'm literally holding my finger down on the throttle increase button. Why this is, is because this nuclear probe over here has a much lower thrust rate ratio. They're really efficient nuclear engines, but they're actually fairly low on thrust. What it's done is it's capped how high I can go on thrust to make sure that I don't go too far ahead of this. Which is brilliant. If we look at the map, you can see all of our apoapses are increasing quite well. Now, the one problem is, it doesn't take into account staging, so you'd have to stage via action groups. It also doesn't take into account things like if your engine runs out of fuel. So when these uh, side tanks run out of fuel, I'm going to show you shooting off behind. So wait for it, and there we go. Stage those. But my thrust ratio is now lower, and you can see they're getting ahead. So let's turn down the throttle. And you can see they're slowing down, so they're matching my speed using RCS. Now, if I wanted to actually catch up with them to stay in formation, simply a matter of going to the Burn Together module, and if I can get the right click thingy to come up. Right, there we go, and if we go Burn Together off, releasing followers, we can then accelerate and catch up with them a little bit. Let's get back in formation. And then we just set all follow me again. Once we're close enough. Are we close enough? Yeah, all follow me. And you see they're using their monopropellant to try and meet my velocity. Now they've done that, we can start burning again. Notice I'm still capped, and of course once these engines run out of fuel and they have to be ejected, we'll have the same problems. But you don't tend to be using asparagus staging when you're in orbit. That tends to be a much more, you know, ground-based thing. So if you actually have to do main staging and you want to stage everyone together, you'll actually have to use action groups for that as opposed to pressing the stage button. Because of course you could have different ships together with different uh, staging requirements. And most interplanetary transfers will be done using the same engine. So you'll just do one burn and then you know you can stage in between if you need them to. So that's one nice thing about burn together. It's absolutely brilliant for doing this sort of thing. Let's turn the engines off and leave them to go. Now by the way, they all have a very similar velocity, but if you do increase the time warp and you go all the way around to the apoapsis, you can see we haven't moved. We are still in exactly the same formation because Burn Together will lock your ships together when you travel, which is brilliant. 
However, by the way, there is of course one problem is if you leave the ship to go somewhere else while they're traveling and do something else on a completely different section of the map, you will have the slight drift happen. Welcome to my air fleet. Now I'm going to just time accelerate until morning because it's a little bit hard to see at night, especially in a YouTube video where they like kill the resolution and the quality. Um, let's find ourselves some sunlight. There we go. Where's the sun? Is it, is it morning? I guess it's morning. I guess the sun's just coming up. Right. Now, I do actually have a load of other things over there that I want to show you in a minute. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing the normal set all, if I can get this to work this time. There we go. I'm going to set as leader. Right, so set as follower. Set as follower. By the way, if anyone's wondering about these RCS ports that are coming out, those are part of a, another mod by the same guy who did Burn Together. You can find it on the forums in his signature. So let's just increase our throttles. And look at that. Gears in. Huh. Okay, that's odd. Normally gears... I've actually done it before and the gears have gone in on everyone. Hmm. I wonder if that's a bug or wonder if that's just me being derpy. I don't know. Anyway. We have... An entire air wing. Look at him go. So, let's actually go and do a flyby of the KSC. Now, I'm going to have to bear in mind that I do actually have gears down on everyone for this, except for, you know, the leader. Right. There's so much possibility in this mod, though. Look, like, you could have bombing runs with, like, fleets of bombers. Oh, it'd be, it'd be amazing. Of course, it does use monopropellant, so uh, I'm not sure how long, you know, this would actually last. Oh, that outside bomber's... Bomber? It's not a bomber, it's a fighter. Oh, no! Bye, crawl world. Let's actually try that again. Let's give it a go. Turn off brakes, by the way, it turns off brakes on everyone. Maybe I have to use the gear button up here, maybe that would work. Right, let's actually decrease the throttle, because these things can go pretty damn fast. And we're off. Gears up. Yeah, see, the button actually makes it work. Right, now, uh, what I'm planning is we'll do basically a loop that way and come back across here. Seems to be the uh, best judgment. Ah, oh, I do love this flying information thing. It looks awesome. Let, let me just... I have to say, that does look absolutely brilliant. That is, that is, that is the main reason to use the mod. Right, let's go back to our normal view. How do we reset my camera? Improved chase cam, there we go. If I go to, actually, internal view, can I... I can't see any of my wingmen! Damn it, that'd be awesome. Right, by the way, now I've switched to improved chase cam. That is also a mod by the same bloke. I won't be doing a mod like on it. It's a pretty small mod. All it does is uh, it locks the camera to the rotation of your craft and a couple of other small tweaks, which makes it look a lot more uh, dynamic when you do these sort of rolls. All right, I believe we need to turn harder. Lose a bit of speed, actually. Let's throttle down. I wish I had my joystick set up for this, actually. Formation flying with joystick would be a lot more fun. But Kerbal Space Program can be a bit funny with joystick sometimes. Right, so... We'll make sure we don't land on that very, uh... <laughs> slopey bit of shoreline. And we'll put our, jet, uh, our jets down, our legs down, our gears, when we get a little bit closer. Okay, right. I think we have... Yeah, there has been a bit of deviation in height with us. Planes aren't perfect yet. 
Right, gears. Might overshoot a little bit. It's not terrible, it's not terrible. Right, let's go down, right. Ready? Still going pretty damn fast. Oop, there we go. Nicely. Nicely done. Oh! Oh! Breaking. 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 Breaks. We've just managed to fly and then land an entire fleet of aircraft, guys. This is why I love this mod, right. So let's actually go and see the last thing that I want to do this mod. Welcome to the rover fleet. Right, so we've seen that we can have a fleet of spacecraft, a wing of aircraft. Can we have rovers? So I've got a lot of rovers sitting on the ground here. By the way, you're probably wondering about this missile. This missile's from another mod. I probably will cover this mod in a future mod light. Safe to say, that's a pretty awesome mod as it is. However, we have a fleet of rovers. What if we wanted them to all do stuff together? Let's say this, Toggle AG Mimic, which is Toggle Action Group Mimic. If we then... Look at that. Let's pull that down. Okay. I'm actually going to raise it ever so slightly. There. Because it actually gets a bit difficult to get to the burn together unit otherwise. So now, let's go. We seem to have everyone following us. Let's turn our brakes off. And look at that. It's a, it's a fairly good fleet-ish. I did choose a diamond formation because that way it basically it retains its cohesiveness from any angle so we could do a 360 and uh, we should still be a rough formation which works quite nicely. I mean it's not a very good diamond I will admit I have put it together in a very weird manner. But let's go over here. Actually we've got missiles, we've got an entire I don't know what would you call it? Armoured brigade? I don't know. What do you call a unit of only uh, nine? I don't know. A unit? We've got an armoured unit. Doesn't sound right. Anyway, we have several rovers all armed. Let's actually go and attack the KSC. Obviously, we're complaining about the budget cuts recently. So, let's just go a bit further over here. And then we'll pull out out front. Now, brakes and stuff are carried through the action group mimic. By the way, if anyone's wondering about how I'm getting this to raise and lower, I'm using an Inferno Robotic, uh, I don't know what they're called, clamp? Inferno Robotics is, of course, another mod. That mod is actually a fairly uh, fairly old mod. It's been around a while. It was originally Dam Robotics until that was uh, deprecated. Are we pointing at the building? There we go. Let's break there. Oh, actually, I don't want to break there. I'm on a slope with my front units. All right, let's back up. There we go. And yes. So let's raise our front. I can't remember. Is it one? Yes. There we go. Down a bit. Up a bit. Down a bit. Need an aiming sight. Is that... Right, there we go. I believe that should work. Ready? We'll turn the... We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll turn that off for now. And let's actually watch this happen. Ready? Three, two, one. Fire! No, no firing? Why are we not fire? Oh, wrong button. Whoops, that one. <laughs> there is, of course, one slight problem in that, um, well, the missiles have kind of a large blast range. Let's see if we can actually land this. Do I have... I don't have SAS. Oh, well, we're, we're not going to be able to land this. Um, goodbye, cruel world. Oh, no, we were upside down. I thought we'd survive pretty well. Yep, no, we're upside down. Anyway, uh, that's been burned together. It allows you to control multiple aircraft, spacecraft, and rovers all at once. And actually, it's pretty damn good. I've been Entry Elysium, and this has been a mod light. Link to the mod will be down below. 
By the way, if anyone's wondering about the uh, the right-click problem, turns out it's a bug with KSP 64-bit. Ugh. Right. Stay shine, everybody.